Hello, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well and welcome to my channel SNLE official. Today we will talk about custom CSS on Shopify. For that we will go to Shopify partners. I have uh, already built many stores on Shopify through Shopify partners. So we will first of all log into our store available on Shopify partner program. So after logging into your store, you have to do what you have to do. I will tell you right now how to apply a custom CSS to your store. It's a very simple process. First of all, we will also open the store and log into the dash panel of our Shopify. For that, you have to click on your account here. Actually, the connection speed is a little bit slow. You can say that it's a little bit slow. <coughs> okay, after clicking on account, we will go to our account on which the stores exist. Simply log into your that store on which you want to apply custom CSS. You can change the text size. You can apply any tag, any filter to your Shopify store that is available on HTML CSS. So find out the store on which you want to apply the custom CSS. It's giving some error. I don't know why it's giving error. So let's try it again. Okay, here is the store on which we want to apply custom CSS. Log into this store. Okay, here is the store. We are opening right now. You can open your store by clicking on this eye icon or just right to the online stores in sales channel. When your store is open, simply open the store. Here is the store and we want to apply some custom changes. So if you want to change the size of this text here, we will inspect it by clicking right click on it. If you are on Windows, then left click on inspect. Okay, we got the class. The class is section dash header in which this text is featured collection is available h2 simply click on this class here you will get the class on the right side click on it copy this after copying go to your store you have to create uh, you have to click on the online store and after clicking on it an actions button will appear here on the right side It will take some time, about 5 to 10 seconds. Okay, just click on actions. You must duplicate your theme before doing anything on the theme because it will prevent from, you know, like losing any data. I have already made a duplicate copy of the theme a few minutes ago. So click here, click on edit code. After clicking on edit code, you have to find out the theme.scss.liquid file in the assets folder. Go to asset, click on theme.scss.liquid. This is the liquid file. Simply click on it. Go to the bottom. Paste your class that we have copied. Curly braces, open, close, and font size we will just change the font size colon make it 70 pixel okay now we will check after saving please click on save after writing your custom css class okay as it saved now before this it was like this 
feature collection before applying custom CSS. Now we have applied the CSS, we will refresh it. We made it 70 pixel. Now we will see how much is 70 pixel. Oh yes, the custom CSS has been applied. You can also change the color, change the position, make it to, if it is centered, you can make it uh, floating right, floating left. Anything that you want to make, you can change. Okay, here, if you want to make these uh, navigation menus bold, you can also apply it, some class on it. Inspect. We will find out the class for it. In the header, you can simply click on this button here and then here. Here we got the class. Okay, here is the class we are looking for, that is horizontal mega menu, copy it. Control V. Font size make it bold. Let's see if the class is written correctly. Okay, it's saved. Now we will check that these have been bold or not. No, the class haven't applied yet. We will go and check for it. Why it's not happened. Sorry, I just clicked over there. Okay, here is a class. We we'll, we just got it. Just write it as it is written there. Now we will see that uh, custom CSS on the menus making it bold has been applied or not. Before doing this, we can also check. Oh yes. This is the property font weight, font dash weight. I was applying font size, that is incorrect. It's 
taking some time. Again, we will inspect it. Click here. Click here. You can also do it by this. Yes, it is applied. So we can simply apply it in this one to here. Font width. Sorry, this was my mistake. Now we will check that the CSS has been applied or not. If it remains like this, then it means it has been applied. Yes, the CSS has been applied. You can see that menus are bold now. So this was a class on uh, tutorial on how to apply custom CSS, just practice it just uh, like I have done in front of you so you guys can uh, create different alterations into your client stores. Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe and click on bell icon for upcoming latest videos. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye.